Hey, what's up guys, it's BK. So today's video, we're gonna be installing some spoon springs on Lem's brand new FL5 Type R. So I'll get straight to the point. If you guys are here of how to do installation of springs, I, I hope this video helps you out. Down in the description, you'll kind of see more information what you need, but it's the typical stuff, 12, 14, 17, 18. List some of the torch specs. I'm not... <laughs> guys decided to come in. I couldn't get the torch specs for everything. But if that's why you're here, look it down in the description. I really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up if you guys were just here for the intel. So as usual, don't connect the sway bar until you're done on both sides. It's all fun and games, but safety first as usual. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope this guys helps you guys. Enjoy, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's BK. So today we're out here with uh, the Filipino fam. We got Lem's R, we got Paul. So as you guys can see from the thumbnail, we're out here working on Lem's brand new F05. He's gonna be installing some spoon springs. You guys didn't know, before he's had a, or spoon S1000. And before that, he had he also had a FK8, which was pretty much spoon theme. Or If you're watching this video, planning to buy spoon springs, the box pretty much comes with the four springs required. So you got the fronts, and then you got the rears in the back, and it comes with this paperwork here. So on the paperwork, it kind of mentions how much you should cut off of the shock observer. It's all in Japanese, which of course I know how to read. And those of you that are curious, when you buy your spoon springs, it does mention it does mention where each spring goes. So this one goes on the front, right? So you start off by taking off the 17 millimeter bolts that hold the knuckle to the shock. So there's actually two of them. There's the, the one on the top side, which is visible here. And the second one on the back. Uh, they already did the passenger side, so I'll overlap that side just so you guys can see, but just showing you guys now, since it's still, everything's still mounted. The next thing he did was take off the three 14 nuts on top. And then after that, he takes off the end link from the sway bar. And then after that, you just wiggle it out. <laughs> you use the foot with the, make sure it has, it's a sandal it has to be a sandal <laughs> and then there you go it pops out on the right side or i guess on the rear side is brackets of the brake lines and then either use a jack or some type of sponge to to hold it up as they're working on the driver's side, I'm going to show this side too. So you want to take off these these brackets for the brake lines. I believe it's a 10 millimeter. You have the end link itself. So you have this one as well as the bottom one. This bottom one goes up to here. So it's one, two, three, four, which goes here. And then the brake lines, and then that's pretty much it. It's too short already. Yeah. So After, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now that the shocks are off, you're gonna use the spring compressors. Usually, I go to AutoZone or something to rent them. But he owns one. Oh, but he owns them. That's <laughs> still in the box, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen. Oh, wait, it's over here. Grab an 18, pull off the main nut of the shock. And then take off the. So, for you guys that never done this, the reason why you use the reason why you use a spring compressor is take off the hat. If you don't use the spring compressors, that hat is just going to jump at you. 
Magpuputol ka ba ng ano doon? Oh, Bump stop? Mm-hmm. gonna cut this off so just like the original one if make sure you reverse oh, yeah. assemble what you did to take it off so if you took it off make sure you pay attention how you did but it's pretty much just a rubber guard on the so bottom then the spring and then the rubber guard on top which you just spin back on and then Maybe on maybe on the other side we won't need to do it, but they're reusing the spring compressor because they need to get the top hat back on there. And the spoon spring has more springs, so you're able to actually push it down. Versus the OEM, it's just four loops. No bueno. So now with the cup bump stop, just put it back on. But it looks like they might need to compress some more because the nut. As long as it could get on a little bit, it should be fine. You need the muscles. Oh, <laughs> <my back>. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's young, that's why. Yeah, yeah. a lot younger than <laughs> younger on the mind. Uh, But the knuckle doesn't have to be uh, this 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 way? Yeah, yeah we have to twist it. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do we need to put this first? No. They finished the driver's side. Everything's still loose, as you can see here. Um, so you got these two. This one, they're not going to put back just because it impacts the other side as well. The one on the bottom as well. Pretty much all, everything's already mounted. Um, <laughs> they still don't know why, but they took off this nut for whatever reason. <laughs> but besides this nut, everything's ready to go to be torqued down. But uh, before they do torque everything down, they're going to do the other side first. Just because they kind of, just because of this one, it, it plays around with the other side. So we'll wait till that swapped over the spring, cut the bump stop, put this back on, and good to go. <laughs> I see you're not good at pulling out, huh? <laughs> 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 no practice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Another break? <laughs> Work five minutes, 20 minute break. Before you put the shock in, put this one back in. Try to get the top three, not tight in, but just enough so they, they kind of go in place. So Lebs is good at pulling out, but Pa is, he's not good at pulling in. It's not good at everything. Push or pull, doesn't matter. <laughs> Paul needs practice putting in, so that's why he's doing it. Hi. Up. Up. There you go. Just like that. Job is done. Once everything's back on the other side, like what I mentioned, come back to the driver's side. Put the ending sweep bar back where it should be. <laughs> Looks the same. <laughs> Two hours later, Lems. Is... <laughs> no, we still gotta drive the car, move it around. It'll probably drop a little bit more, but uh, you could tell night and day the front versus the rear. Obviously, it doesn't help the ground being downhill, but. <laughs> hey, so although the video makes it seem like it took 10 minutes but how long did we take two hours two hours or so like past nine what time is it 11. 11 that's pretty good two hours and we're taking 20 minute breaks every often <laughs> took a lot of breaks man <laughs> so we're gonna start the back side and uh we just noticed on the fo5 but on the fk8 here on the left side by the exhaust tip there's actually a jacking point looking at the fo5 that's all the way on the inside though it's actually the same as the FK, so it has a rear jacking point, but you actually got to take off this cover here to get to it. Since we're playing lifts both sides anyways, we're just going to jack it up from the control from the lower control arm on the front side. The car's stiff enough that it pretty much lifts both sides, and then we're going to use jack stands. Once we put the jack stands, we just move the jack since we got to move the control arm. So you guys, car's raised up. Time for a break. <laughs> <laughs> So for the FO5 on the rear end, it's just the two bolts, the sway bar end link, and then the lower control arm. Oh, yeah.
Oh, that's it. So, Dada. Hi, Yoshi. Nipples are Yeah, limbs. Hot. Yeah. Okay. Can you push that and link this way? Oh, too much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, limbs. Yeah, up. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's stuck. So as they're working on the other side, inside this dust cover, you lift it and up there there's the bump stop. So just like the fronts, you want to cut off a ring, take off the shock and go out to nothing. As long as you're able to take off the dust cover, which is like you just saw literally a few seconds, grab a knife or something, cut it up, same thing with the bump stop. And that's pretty much it on the rear end that you got to do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video here, kicking it with the Filipino fam working on lems fl5 probably after this we'll probably go drive it around make sure to subscribe really appreciate it leave a comment for the algorithm let's see what else lems does to his fl5